Hello and welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. In this chase report we're going to take a look at what I found at the beginning of June 2019 in Germany and also something I uh, found on the way home from Germany in a supermarket where I also did a vlog. But first up I want to give a shout out to another YouTube channel Cars, Trucks and Planes Diecast Collector. It's a big channel, not only in the number of subscribers, but also in the way he uh, supports fellow YouTubers. Uh, for instance, he supports uh, Tune Tracks Racing. Uh, this is a channel that was started by Jason's dad to uh, support Jason in his uh, fight against leukemia. Uh, that he seems to be winning now, so that's great. Uh, I would ask you all to visit the channel, watch the videos and subscribe to it also. Um, and uh, also visit Cars, Trucks and Planes Diecast Collector and subscribe to it because uh, everyone who likes Diecast will like this channel. Now I think most of you already know his channel because he's way bigger than me of course uh, and if you don't check it out it's amazing what he does uh, th these are movies from with um, moving diecast cars mostly 164 scale uh, but they are not stop-motion videos there's something completely different that you will not find on any other YouTube channel out there um, he explains in a few videos how he does that and they are very interesting uh, if you want to learn something about uh, what um, Matchbox made a long long time ago in the 60s uh, that he uses for his videos uh, it's something that I have never heard of and uh, I think most of you never uh, heard of it so uh, I'm not going to show any of his content because I did not ask him uh, permission to do that but um, I just wanted to uh, do this for you Robert uh, to thank you because you're such a great guy and uh, you support uh, all these um, YouTube channels uh, if you watch his videos people uh, watch it the first time for the cars watch it the second time to see everything that is happening around the track because he's a very witty man he's got a lot of imagination there's lots of stuff going on um, and it's it's great to to see that and then maybe watch it a third time just because you can't get enough of it also watch his uh, older videos not only the newest one um, because he's got a lot of great videos. I found him uh, through uh, looking for a mini, mini videos from the, the, you know, the Mini Cooper because uh, I was uh, planning on doing videos on those cars myself and I wanted to see what other people had done so I could do something differently. Well he does something completely different alright. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, he's a great artist. He is um, the best editor I know both in image and sound uh, it's absolutely unbelievable uh, trust me on this if you don't know his channel which uh, would surprise me but if you don't know his channel you'll be glad I pointed it out for you so let's take a look at some diecast this one I already found last time I was in Germany didn't pick it up then it's the 2015 Land Rover Defender double cab in this kind of a bronze color didn't pick it up because uh, I wasn't completely convinced with the back side of it um, I think it seems to be lacking in paint a little bit uh, if you look at this in the roof it's got a very thick layer and this seems to have uh, less paint on it but you know I found one that was pretty okay so picked it up this is the alternate color for the silver version and the 85 Honda City Turbo 2 in black I'm opening these up a little bit further away from the camera for the sound 
it makes the wrapping of the cards got some gold uh, tampos on the side red rims and the bikes in the back very cool model very glad to find this Mazda RX-7 this is one I love to collect it's got the gold rims very nice one doesn't have the uh, problem that some of these castings have here with the uh, the edge here of the spoiler it is a little bit rough this one's fine found the 70 Chevelle SS wagon kind of a dark gray metallic so this one has not been converted yet to a uh, having a post in the back it's got uh, this clip here underneath so that's cool they did not change this one up yet hope it stays like that the 49 Volkswagen Beetle pickup only found two of these so happy I found it so it's got the same deco as the blue one just different wheels Another V-Dub I found, I found a bunch of these, Volkswagen Golf Mark II, and that proves that at this moment there's just a huge amount of die-cast in Germany. Um, so this is kind of a d dark blue purplish color. Very nice color. This one did get the post in the back, unfortunately. 69 Dodge Charger 500 in blue. It's got the gray uh, rims, a nice blue color. And it's got this uh, texture piece here in the front. That's a little bit different than the rest of the paint very nicely done also very glad I found the McLaren Senna I thought I was I only found one you know so pretty stoked about that so it's got some paint in the back very nicely done because it's very tiny not an easy thing to do so I think they went all out all out for that no headlights, I think those would be extremely difficult to do. It does get the uh, McLaren badge. This is all plastic on top, but uh, that's fine. We get a metal wing, can't complain. Then the blue version of the Nissan Fair Lady Z in the Nissan series. So the other color was uh, yellow. Then we got a bunch of white cars. Mm, let's start here. Nissan Skyline GTR 32. It's got some uh, black spots there on the, the rear wing. No, the rear quarter panel, I should say. The rest of it is okay. It's got good tempos and everything. Uh, did pick this up because uh, um, I think I'm going to forget it otherwise because there's another uh, white uh, Nissan. Uh, I don't know which uh, R it is um, and I think I'm going to forget it if I'm uh, if I don't pick up this one I don't know if this is the paint rub off or something I'm going to have to look into that if I can get it off or not but it's got good tempos in the in the back and on the side so that's okay. Then the uh, Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo. I already showed this one before. But this one has a, in front of the headlight there, it's got a little bit of a 
uh, Zamek or casting issue. I don't know what's up with that. So I brought this one. Now this one is isn't perfect either, but you know, it will have to do. This one has got a little bit of flashing on the headlight, but I think I can uh, cut that off. The rest of it is okay. Uh, this, the other one also had some flashing around the windows here on the side. This one doesn't, also on top doesn't have that. And the rear tempo is pretty okay too, a little bit high, but it's good enough. It's a very nice model this. The 96 Porsche Carrera. Uh, this one has a lot of issues, it's got some package rub on top, it's got a a little bit of a crooked headlight here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well. It's got a little bit of paint damage on the rear bumper, but it does have a perfect taillight tempo, which the other ones I found did not have, so wanted to pick it up anyway. Maybe I will find find a better one later on. But at least I have this one already. So I'm not going to open up this one for now. I'm going to try to find a better one. And then the uh, Tesla Model 3 in white. So got the uh, gray rims. Got headlight and daylight tempos. That are pretty well done and a completely see through roof. So, very cool. Then we go to Matchbox. Now, all of the cars you see here, Matchbox and Hot Wheels, were one euro. I bought this in a store that is a little bit more expensive because I feared I was going to miss out on this one, the 69 BMW 2002. But turns out afterwards I found a bunch of them, of course. But I'm still getting used to the fact that there's just so much die cast available in Germany now. Uh, so I still have some uh, FOMO. So lots of detail in the front, lots of detail in the back. That's how we like it. That's what Matchbox does best. Why it has blue windows, I don't know, but you know. This is the 74 Volkswagen Type 181. It says 74 thing on the license plate. This is actually a uh, rerun of the 2009 release, which I don't mind because I did not have the 2009 release. So that gives me an opportunity to uh, at least get this version. Very surprised to even find it, but that shows uh, how much uh, stuff there is available in Germany now. I found a bunch of these. So, very cool. I saw someone uh, on YouTube being able to lift this up, yeah. That is indeed the case. Well, not meant to be, but you know, I don't mind. Then we got the 71 Oldsmobile Vista Cruiser. For those of you who watch all my videos, you've seen me show this one uh, last time. I uh, found this locally. So this is the one with the post in the back, and I found the original version from I think, what is it, 2010? Maybe 2011 release, but produced 2010 without the post, so the dogs are a little bit closer together. Paint is a little bit different, but not much. And uh, the wood grain on the side is the same, the wheels are the same, just uh, the old one has the chrome base and the new one has the gray base. That's basically the only difference. Everything else is the same. So I'm very happy to have this one. This one, well, it's only one euro, so I'll get it, but 
this one this uh, I also found in the singles did not get it because I already have this version this is from 2016 from the NYPD police five pack uh, the only difference with the 2019 version as far as I know is that the windows are uh, clear and these seem to be a little bit smoked but I don't know if there's really that much difference so that one I did not pick up because I already have it from the five pack this is a new model the 59 Dodge Carnet police car found a few of these this is one of the few cars that still has the chrome base today because most of the cars have uh, gray bases now not chrome anymore uh, luckily I found a bunch of them because otherwise I would have thought this um, deco on the side was uh, um, an error because it's very thin and it's kind of like a, a shade tempo it's not very clear because you see if you look at that some uh, angles you cannot see it very well kind of a shadow tempo uh, but all of them had that so I'm guessing that is how it should be lots of uh, chrome detailing tampos on the side this one does not get the blue windows where it should have gotten the blue windows so we could, could have a blue light instead of the BMW cool rims too very nice model Good to see we got both front and side tempos so lots of uh, detail there then another police car the 51 Hudson Hornet Matchbox County Police this one does not have a plastic light on top is just uh, molded into the casting which is fine by me I don't mind that maybe it's better than just a uh, a white light on top doesn't seem very real realistic 70 Datsun 510 Rally this is uh, the third color of it the main line at least first orange then red and now blue at the white rims yellow base Echo on hood and uh, boot, trunk, bonnet, however you want to call all those things. Nice one. The 75 Chevy Caprice. The, it's hard to describe which color it is it's kind of a champagne color a little bit goldish but not completely very nice model I don't know this model um, in Europe we don't have these kind of cars but it's a nice one it's got this curved line here in, in the back I like that makes me think of a Citroën and uh, yeah it's a cool one Love it. Also the the closed up uh, wheel arch here. That's nice. I like it. And some pickup trucks. The 70 Chevy El Camino. In green. So got some uh, side deco here. Cool. And then the 47 Chevy AD 3100. Found this one previous time I was uh, in Germany, only one, and it had some uh, uh, paint rash. So glad I could find a few other ones that I could pick from. Just 
just got uh, side tempos so that's a bit disappointing could have done with a rear or front tempo but anyways the bean counters are in charge now at Mattel 2018 Jeep Wrangler GL Unlimited this is a very cool one love to collect uh, Jeeps just like I love to collect Land Rovers and Toyota both 4x4s but this one looks really cool very realistic nice green color apparently GL stands for this type of Wrangler I didn't know that learned that from another youtuber very cool one this one the Jeep Cherokee police um, I found a bunch of them with uh, some bad tempos that's something that usually does not happen with matchbox so that is again a proof to me that the bean counters are getting the upper hand at Mattel you see valley the E it's not printed very well and I've seen even worse than that uh, also no blue windscreen again post in the back yeah it's all things that kind of make me sad I mean I like this model I will collect it every time it's released but that's kind of sad to uh, to see these things happen it uh, makes you want to collect more premium stuff uh, like green light and such I know it's much more expensive but it's also mm, much nicer in uh, in all kinds of ways 2010 Ford animal control truck Again, another example of the bean counters making the decisions because this one is all plastic on top, has a black metal base. Would have been okay if the cabin was metal and then this was plastic, I would be perfectly fine with that. But all plastic, I mean, come on, at least it got the blue windscreen yeah you did something right but you know I think many will agree that this is disappointing and I know some will say then don't buy it but you know it's not going to make a difference whether here in Europe we buy the stuff or not because Mattel does not care for Europe uh, we get uh, Hot Wheels short cards that have no super treasure hunts in them we get the matchbox uh, the new 2019 matchbox we got them in uh, like April uh, I think uh, USA got them in September of last year so a proof that um, Mattel does not care for Europe at all so it doesn't make any difference what we think buy or say International Terror Star also a all plastic model so metal base plastic body again if the cabin had been metal and the box plastic I would have been perfectly fine with that it even doesn't have an interior look at that that's really sad yeah what can I say? Mission support vehicle NASA NASA I should say probably so this has been plastic for a while metal base plastic body This one of course is hard to do partially metal partially plastic so I get that uh, 
kind of, yeah. It's the only way they can do it. They cannot make this part metal and then the back plastic. That's just not going to work because these, these are not separate pieces. So I get that. I understand that and don't really have a problem with it. The uh, tree lugger, usually I don't buy uh, fancy castings, but this one I bought because of the Ronak livery. It's just the word crane with the C behind it, because I collect these uh, Ronak livery cars, vehicles. Well, mostly they're not cars, but trucks and also all kinds of equipment. Always have the white and the yellow usually with a working part most of the time another one the garbage king also a fancy casting and i also bought this because of the uh, central parks livery or uh, central parks national parks of course national parks livery always have these greenish color so this still has the metal cabin, so that's great. Plastic uh, backside. I have uh, some examples that are all metal, but I don't mind this. Uh, as long as the cabin is uh, metal, it's fine by me. Then we got the Matchbox Flatbed King. Last year was released in blue, now we got it in red. This one doesn't seem to have an interior either, but it does have a moving part, so that works very well, so that's cool. In the meantime, you've already seen what's behind it. First, like, let's take a look at these two, the MAN TGS dump truck, and there's two variations of it and I found both of them in the same store so I guess they probably only one of this these this version only one of uh, the this one I found a bunch of so must have been mixed in with uh, the uh, the regular ones I guess so both of the beds were a little bit upwards and I think, well they all are and that seems like it doesn't come all down, all the way down. So that's a bit disappointing and they all had that so I guess that's how, just how they come. You see? doesn't go all the way down. So uh, you can see the difference between these. The, the thing, this is the more rare one. It has the all the black tempos here on the side. And in the front the, the rear view mirrors. And then uh, around the windscreen it's also got the black. You see? So that's the difference between the two. Apart from that, they are exactly the same. So very cool, I found both of these. Then let's take a look at the Majorette American Muscle Cars. Now I'm not going to take them off the, um, the cardboard because they, they are uh, tied down with the rubber bands. Um, I'm going to leave them or put them back in the box after I've shown this or shown, shown them to you guys. Uh, so this is a 2019 premium car. This is the uh, Challenger. Uh, it shows up blue on the camera but it's actually purple and we got the green uh, Mustang classic Mustang um, and then we got the red uh, Viper that is also a 2019 premium car these three you've already seen on my uh, channel in a single packaging at least if you watch all my videos 
uh, these two not uh, I'm not sure if they both are exclusive to this five pack or gift pack or only one of them um, this is a new model the new Mustang GT this will also be in the deluxe series with an opening boot or trunk this one only has the opening doors and by the way at the back here it shows all the opening features they all have opening doors and then this is the uh, Camaro this is not the same livery as the uh, Zamek one so this is painted silver uh, where the Zamek of course is uh, just clear coated um, the wheels on them the Mustangs have the same wheels these uh, five spokes that have like a double spoke and then the other ones have uh, this type of wheel a new wheel for 2018 it was so this one has the white ring and majorette written on it this one just has the white ring and then this one has the um, silver ring and the silver sidewalls or chromed out whatever you want to call it so that's it for this video please like and subscribe if you haven't already i hope to see you again next time bye bye